Joining us this evening is the Executive Director of the Center for Dreams, Michelle Del Carmen. Welcome. Thank you very much. So tell everyone about the center and why it's such a crucial priority. So the Center for Dreams is located in Markham, uh, and we service individuals across York Region as well as Durham Region. And we are a day program for youth and adults with developmental disabilities. And the type of programming that we offer is very functional, meaning that um, we want our individuals to become as independent as they possibly can. And we offer a variety of holistic programming, meaning life skills, job skill training, um, all different types of programming, as I said, to have them become as independent as they possibly can across all areas of their life. Um, and as I said, we are a day program, so Monday mm-hmm. to Friday from 9 to 4. Okay, now now the Ombudsman report came, yes. came out on this. I mean, they, it called it a, a crisis. Um, they said people living with developmental disabilities um, – are, are literally in crisis, but there's a 62,000 adults in Ontario with a with a disability yes. like that. So when does uh, help for them stop? At what age does it cut off? So it doesn't stop, but it starts at the age of 18. Our program starts, generally speaking, around the age of 21. So mm-hmm. the education system stops at the age of 21. So literally... They almost fall off a cliff at the age of 21. Um, What programming is there available? Mm -hmm. And so here's the thing. There's 62,000 approximately individuals across the province with a developmental disability, but only 32,000 or 33,000 are receiving services. So that's half. Approximately half of the individuals are even receiving services. So there's a huge gap right then and there. There's not enough funding available. And 18, it costs $18,000 a year for a day program. So the, the stats are just astronomical in terms of the need and the cost for such a program. So Michelle, is it getting worse, the situation? Do you see it getting worse? And are organizations like yours able to fill the gap or, or make a significant difference? Or is it kind of a losing battle if we don't step up? Yes, no, and yes. Okay. <laughs> those triple barrel yeah, questions. Those okay. many questions. Um, it, you know what? It's it is getting worse. It is getting worse only because the need is getting it is greater and greater and greater. Um, our individuals are living longer. The life the lifespan is uh, is growing. Um, so the, they reach the age of twenty one. The need is there. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, our individuals, as we get asked all the time, what is there? Do they graduate? When do they leave your program? The reality is they don't leave our program. There is no graduating period. Um, our individuals come to the program and they stay in the program. They continually grow and they continue to grow day after day and they continue to learn. Will they graduate? Not necessarily. And that doesn't mean to say that they're failing or that we're failing as a program. It's just the nature of the individual. It's the nature of developmental disability. They need to continue to grow. They need that reputation day in and day out over and over again. And they need that support. That's mm-hmm. just the, the nature of it. So give us um, some examples of what you are teaching. So we are teaching as I said, functional. That's mm-hmm. that's kind of the buzzword at our program. So we teach things instead of uh, math. So when we were in school, we learned fractions, right? Mm-hmm. And, oh, fractions. Mm-hmm. And those sheets. Algebra. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, those sheets over and over and over again that we learned. Um, and lecture-based learning, right? That does not work with the majority of our individuals. In fact, I don't think it works at all, hardly. Mm-hmm. Um, so we do kitchen math. So a half a cup plus a half a cup. It's practical, and mm-hmm. it's something that they can take at home. We teach them cleaning. So this is how we mop the floor. Um, we'll, my staff have even taken pieces of tape and put it on the floor. This, so you take the mop, and you mop from this piece of tape to this piece of tape. So they know they have to mop the entire floor. Uh, cleaning the tables. We mop or we wipe the entire table. 
Um, Maybe enough change for the subway. Enough change for the subway. We do uh, Olympics, but our Olympics are folding T-shirts. So the team that folds the T-shirts the best and the the proper way of folding a T-shirt. So it's oh, I need to learn that. Yes, uh, <laughs> the, one of the things that I love the most, and women love this because they say, "Can I get my husband to learn yeah. this skill?" <laughs> yeah. Is they take out the tray of the dishwasher and put it on the table, and they teach them how to load the dishwasher properly. Properly. So those are skills that they can, they're transferable skills, they're functional skills, skills that they can take home and use all the time independently. And independently, remember, is a term that is very relative. It's something that is relative to each individual. It doesn't mean that they're going to live on their own, but independence is a term that they can, is relative to each individual. So they may not live on their own, but they can still be independent at home with their parents and unload a dishwasher. Right. So do some of them live at home? All of our individuals currently do live at home, but we have had in the past or individuals that do live in um, semi-independent living or group home style setting. So it de- depends on each individual. Just currently right now, everyone does live at home. Okay, let me play the devil's advocate. Yes. We have um, the total budget for developmental services in 2016 to 2017 is $2 billion. Yes. So times are tight. Why should people care? Why should people care? Mm. That's an excellent question. Um, People should care because it's acceptance. Imagine you waking up at the age of 21 and having no place to go, nothing to do. Nobody to help. Nobody to help. Mm. You're right, falling off the edge of a cliff. Falling off the edge of the cliff. So nowhere to go. How can people help? How can people help? People can open up their hearts and look beyond the label. And that's what... That's what so many people look at individuals with developmental disability or disability period or even difference Mm -hmm. and look at the label and that's all they see. We want people to look at our individuals, particularly those with developmental disability, and look beyond their label. Don't look at what they can't do. Look beyond that and look at them as an individual. Look at what they can do. Look what they can bring to the table. Mm -hmm. Imagine, again, at the age of 21, not having anywhere to go. But then also take that a step further and imagine somebody always telling you, you can't, you won't, you'll never. That's what our guys are told from the age that they're born and their parents are told that. Your child will never, your child won't. My parents, our program started uh, because of my brother John, and my parents were told, John will be a vegetable. He will never talk, he will never walk, just put him in an institution. (laughs) If you met John, you'll know now, He doesn't ever stop talking. (laughs) Um, And he is walking. You know, he he is definitely not a vegetable. So, you know, you you never give up on that. You always love them for who they are and look beyond that label. Okay, so as as well as people could offer to volunteer for you and help. And you've got a gala coming up. We have a gala coming up. And our galas are always fun. So our gala theme this year is uh, Vegas, a night in Vegas. And who doesn't love Vegas, Mm -hmm. right? So we are bringing Vegas to Toronto or to the GTA. And we're going to have some Vegas tables with some showgirls. And uh, we even have some celebrities coming here. We've got Lionel Richie. We've got Michael Jackson. We've got Marilyn Monroe. Uh, So these are some of our our clients, some of our members who are are going to be doing a performance as these celebrities and will be performing that night at the at the gala. And that's taking place on Saturday, November the 12th. Excellent. So how do, how do people get tickets? So they can purchase the tickets through our website, which is centerfordreams.ca slash gala, and, uh, or they can contact us directly. Okay, and we'll yes. put we'll put that up um, across all our websites as well. So if, the, if there was one thing that you could help tell people to help them understand the importance of this situation what would it be i you know but people people ask um you know would i want my brother to not have his disability and yes going through all the hardships that he has had i would not want him to have his disability but selfishly i'm glad that he has had his disability because i have learned so much from him and I have learned so much and gained so much from he and all of his peers. So I think it's it's the knowledge and the my life is so much better because of everything that I have learned. 
Well, Michelle Del Carmen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. And when we come back, her name is Barbara Lika, and this Canadian songstress will serenade us live in studio. This is what she said on The Jewel. She might just change her life. 